Masha's Tales. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, yes, I can see it in your eyes. You are judging me like a book by the coveralls. But even an ugly duckling can have a very beautiful soul. And now I will tell you a fairy tale about that. Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a girl who lived in the kingdom of far, far away. She really wanted to go to the ball at the palace. The problem was that she never had the time to have the time off because her evil stepmother made her do all the chores around the house. All work and no play makes us dull kids. And it's all because of these horrible housework. Cinderella did all the laundry. She washed all the pots and pans. And every day she cleaned the fireplace by taking out the ashes. By the way, that's what Cinderella means, little ashes. In the meantime, the king had decided to throw another ball at the palace. And not just any ball. He invited everyone. He said there would be an all-you-can-eat buffet of cookie candies and ice cream. And that there would be dancing all night long. Cinderella became very happy, but then she became very sad. That's because she only had one dress to wear, and it was very dirty. So she had no dress to wear to the fancy ball of the royal palace. And then suddenly, the good witch showed up and said, I am your godmother and I will help you. I'm going to turn your old tattered house dress into a beautiful ball gown, the most fashionable one of the season. But there's one thing you must remember. When the great tower clock at the palace strikes midnight, you must leave out once because your beautiful ball gown will turn back into a house dress. Cinderella was so happy as she checked out her reflection in the frying pan. Then came the evil stepmother. Why do you think you're going all dressed up? We have a whole bunch of nuts in the house that need to be cracked. So get to work right now. That's when Cinderella grew really, really sad. To crack that many nuts, you can ruin and break all your teeth doing that. How can you smile at the ball if you have no teeth? Then the good witch showed up again and gave Cinderella something that looked like a wooden Pinocchio. With a nose this long and a mouth that was this wide. And the teeth of a hippopotamus. And who could this weird nut be? asked Cinderella. He is not a weird nut. He is a nutcracker, replied the good witch. Look how well he can crack the nuts. Crack, crack. It's all done. Cinderella was able to crack all the nuts right away. And she liked the nutcracker so much that she decided to take him with her to the ball. Cinderella was walking down the road when suddenly she saw the king. Oh, your majesty, said Cinderella. Why are you so sad? The king sighed heavily and told her, How could I not be sad? I had a ball at the palace, but then the rats showed up and threw me out. Just then the nutcracker stood up and said in a very human voice, Don't you cry, your majesty. I will come to your rescue. He started to play his nose like an elephant playing a trombone. And he played such good music that the king started to dance along to it. As soon as the rats heard the sounds of the trombone, all their willpower simply disappeared. And the king took the broom and swept them out of the palace. Everyone was so happy that Cinderella gave the nutcracker a big kiss right on his long nose. Suddenly, sparkles began to appear everywhere. And the nutcracker started to transform into the prince. And when his transformation was over, he said, Up until now, I was under a spell. And now, my dear Cinderella, I am so happy that I would like to offer you my hand, my heart, and also these pretty glass slippers. Just then, the tower clock at the palace began to strike midnight. Cinderella got scared that the prince would stop loving her when he saw her in her old house dress. 
But the prince didn't care about that at all, because his love for Cinderella was real. That's what I keep telling you. You may judge someone by their coveralls at first, but you fall in love because of their great inner quality.